most anyway. So you know what that means. It's time for a Monday morning mindfulness meditation. So it's time to go with him. So let's get ready and do that, okay? We simply sit up straight in our chairs, feet flat on the floor. Nothing in our hands, nothing in our heart. But that of love, close your eyes. You should not be looking at me, but the inside of your eyelids. Okay, so close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, oh, take a nice, long stretch. Pull those arms up over your head and simply stretch, 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 stretch. Oh, yes, that feels good. Oh, and if you didn't do that, do that every morning before you get out of bed. Just move that body. Okay? All righty. So we'll inhale to the count of five. We'll look sleepy already. Stop putting in sleep. Went to bed at 9 o'clock last night. Woke up at 4. Or 3. Somewhere around there. I don't know. Um, inhale deeply to the count of five. Hold it. And exhale. We'll do that for just a little bit. As you get comfortable and focus on the breath, not your to-do list, not what's for lunch or breakfast or dinner, or where you're going to go, what you're going to wear, who you got to call, who you got to text, none of that. Right now, it's your time. Let me hear you say that. It's my time. What? I didn't hear you. Say it a little louder. What? Okay. It's my time. So we will breathe in. Feel that chest up. Hold it, and breathe out. Close your eyes, and we inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale deeply. Hold it, and exhale. See, the body feels better already as we inhale deeply. And exhale. As you continue breathing in and breathing out on your own, Just know that deep breathing takes you to a place of serenity in your life where you can get peace, where you can get it nowhere else. You can get peace and the power of the breath as we inhale deeply. And exhale. You see, because those long breaths relax the system as we inhale once more. Knowing that these long, deep breaths will keep us stress-free, less stress-free, because short breath stresses the system. Let me say that again. These short breaths, that stresses the system. So you want to breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. Once more, inhale deeply. And exhale. So you can override all the anxiety that's going on in your thoughts and in your body just by simply breathing. So once more, breathe in. Bringing the breath to the top of the head. And as we breathe out, bringing the breath down back through the face and down through the shoulders. Inhale deeply. And rotate those shoulders. And exhale. Oh, it might feel a little pop, a little tinge there, but that's okay. As we inhale deeply. And exhale, feeling the air in the lungs, feeling the energy of the air moving down through our sides and our thighs and our back and our buttocks as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, sending more love, light, and energy down through the thighs and the knees and the legs as we inhale deeply. And as we exhale, sending more love, light, and energy through our breath, down through our legs, ankles, and bottom of the feet as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, sending more love and light and energy down through the toes. Feel free to wiggle those toes and inhale, bringing that energy back up through the toes and the legs and the knees as we inhale. Feeling the love and the light and the energy coming back up through the knees and the thighs and the back of the buttocks and the hips as we breathe in. 
And as we breathe out, giving thanks for the power of the breath as we breathe in, bringing that energy back up through the back of the body to the back of the neck as you take your hands, your fingers, and massage the back of the neck. Feel free to even take one hand and squeeze the back of the neck. That is where the vagus nerve is. So you always want to massage that because you're sending light and love down through your spine, that electrical energy that keeps you divine because you are sincerely one of a kind. Know that as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, that vagus nerve and that spine is on electrical happy fire this morning as we breathe in. Sending more love and light and energy back up to the back of the head and finally to the top of the head as we breathe in. And as we breathe out. As we marinate in the glorious power of the breath, we give thanks. As we breathe in. And as we breathe out. Once more. Inhale deeply. We give thanks for the power of the breath because we know that deep breathing expands the lungs and triggers the happiness gene. Yes, that is why you have a great big old smile on your face because you've triggered that happiness gene as we breathe in. And as we breathe. Now let us take one more long, deep inhale, deeply, and exhale, and just marinate in how good that breath, the breath of life, that energy is in you, that force of life is in you, and you know what that means? That you've been blessed with the opportunity to complete the assignment in this body that you have been given. The fact that you are breathing means your mission on planet Earth has not been completed because you have more work to do. As you breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. As we breathe in once more, we give thanks for the power of the breath. Because someone somewhere may have one nostril block and can't breathe in and breathe out through both nostrils on their own. Or they may have a a trachea in their throat. They may have severe asthma or COPD or any other respiratory diseases. They may have a virus known as COVID-19. So we give thanks that we are not one of those individuals as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, take one more long, last, deep, inhale deeply. And this time as we breathe out, bring your head forward, tilt your head forward, chin to chest, and slowly rotate the head to the left. That's why you're sitting up straight, so you can feel that head rotate around to the back. Slowly, slowly, slow down, you're moving too fast. Slowly move the head around to the right, slowly, slowly. Slowly and bringing it around to the front and head up. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale, bringing the head down, slowly rotating the head to the right. Slowly rotating the head around to the back. And slowly rotating the head around to the left. And slowly bringing the head back forward. Inhale deeply, head up. And exhale. Does that not feel good? Yes, it does. I can see you smiling. I can see your body responding. Yes, you are feeling good because you just gave yourself the opportunity to be at peace where there may have not been peace as we breathe in and as we breathe out. Once more, inhale deeply. And exhale, 
time. And as you take this long, last, deep inhale, inhale deeply. And as you exhale, bring your head forward and slowly bring it back up. As you inhale deeply, bring the head down and bring it back up. Once more, inhale deeply. This time, turning the head to the left as far as you possibly can, feeling a stretch in the right side of the neck. And exhale, bringing the head back. Inhale once more. And as you exhale, turn the head to the right uh, side and feeling the stress in the left side of your neck. Oh, yes, that feels good. And bringing the head back forward. Inhale once more. Take a nice, long, deep inhale as you stretch, 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 stretch that body. Oh, excuse me. And exhale. Oh, doesn't it feel good? It's like you just made love to your body through your breath. And you can do that anytime you so desire. Because you have been equipped with the power to de-stress your moment at any given point in time when somebody is trying to de-stress you or trying to stress you. You can de-stress. Just by the power of the breath, you simply breathe in through the nose. But this time when you blow out, blow out through your breath, blow out through your your mouth. Why? Because if you didn't get a chance to blow uh, to uh, brush your teeth or gargle this morning or whatever day it is that you're stressed out, you got a little funk on your breath. When you inhale and exhale, they will back up off of you, I promise you. You know why? Because your breath will be so foul. They'll be like, ooh. What's wrong with her? <laughs> yeah, but they'll leave you alone. Okay, you get my point? All right. <laughs> you be sure and share that with someone as we each one teach one because everybody is stressed out. If it's not their job, it's lack of a job, it's lack of it's homeschooling, it's just lack, period. And not being able to do what you usually do. And I've looked at the news this morning. It's like they were at the beach like 100 going north. I mean, just naked all over the place. Uh, everybody's drinking and just doing what people do. And um, celebrating Memorial Day. And we're celebrating life. And that's what we're doing right here on The Female Solution. And thank you for joining us this morning. If you'd like to join the conversation, Five one five six zero five nine three two five. Press one to speak, and you'll be able to join the conversation. We're on YouTube Live as well on the Higher Learning TV show. See that logo right there? You'll know you're at the right place. And we're on Facebook HLN TV show. So we're about to go take our first commercial break. And you can text someone and let them know that Randy, excuse me, Randall Baker, Community Resource Development Specialist and Volunteer, will be joining us at 7.30. And you can join us, too, by calling in at 515-605-9325. Remember to press 1 to speak. And also... You can tune in tomorrow for self self care with Jody Susan. We are on seven days a week, and that's on Tuesdays. That's Jody Susan with self self care on Wednesday. You know the routine. Yes, it's Naima Latif and Kareem Hamid repairing family relationships, and on Thursday it's Women's Roundtable, and Friday Health and Wellness with Ziana. And on Saturdays, we have rotating hosts. The first Saturday is Nonviolent Communication with Jana. Our second Saturday, The Black Taboo with Love, Joy, and Powers. And our third Saturday, Travel with the Boiler. Mm, you ready to travel? Everybody's traveling that way. You be sure in, in contact with our very own travel agent on the Female Solution. That would be move, Travel with the Boiler. Actually, Move Around with the Boiler. You'll see her every third Saturday from 12 noon until 2 p.m. And I forgot to mention, all the Saturday shows are 12 noon until 2 p.m. 
that Central Standard Time. And on Saturday, the fourth Wednesday, it's Wisdom with Mama D. If you have not heard her show and any of the other shows, you can always go back to the archives. We're there 24-7. So if you miss it, you slept late, you were busy working, kids getting on your nerves, then you simply listen to it when you go to bed. That's what I do. And that way, you'll be informed as you sleep and let all that good knowledge just soak up in your brain when you go to bed. 